52 weeks make up a year. Everywhere but here. So that's $12. Because here, a year is won or lost over the course of just six weeks. It's a big deal in a lot of places, but especially around this area. The Olathe sweet corn is a patented seed of corn. In a town where its elevation nearly triples its population, a boy from the Big Apple has an ear for ears of corn. Oh, there's tough days, tough years, good years, bad years. It's farming. Olathe. Have you ever been to a bullfight? When that bull say Olathe, Olathe. Pretty simple. John Harold's overalls undersells his business savvy. His tuxedo adorned boxes ship nationwide. Probably about 120,000 years. It's quite a bit. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be. <laughs> John Harold's been nurturing these cornfields since 1986. A long time, with few cameramen asking questions. So, how long have you been doing this, John? 35 years. Now take off your hat a minute. Yes, sir. I had hair that color. Now you can put yep. your hat back on. <laughs> what started out as a 70-acre farm has grown to 1,700. Days on the farm are long and the sun is hot, which is part of the magic. You're talking to a man that's rather parochial and prejudiced, <laughs> so we understand that. Uh, more than anything is, is the climatic conditions that we have here. Uh, it's probably about 90 degrees now. It was probably 54, 53 degrees this morning. The temperature difference makes a huge difference in that corn being sweet or not sweet. And that's the key to it. During harvest time, John and his crew rely on a crazy metal contraption that looks a lot like a daddy long legs. They move through the field like a country line dance, picking, tossing, sorting, and boxing. The reason we hand harvest the corn if I picked this ear and squeezed it too tight, it would pop the kernels. And that's why we do what we do. Uh, we're some of the last to do it that way. It's methodical and efficient and takes a big crew of farmers on work visas. Uh, we still have to have about 160 people a year on the H-2A program to come and work it. I always have the People tell me, yeah, you're taking away jobs from locals. Uh, when we started, all the high school kids used to work for me, but uh, it got too hard for them. <laughs> John Harold has picked millions of ears of corn in his 81 years of life. It's what he does, and he's pretty darn good. I still get up at 4.30 in the morning and go out to work. I raise cows. I have 300 head of mother cows, too, so I, I don't pick corn as fast as I used to. I don't jump as high as I used to. I don't chase women like I used to. But I'm still going and happy as a lark. We could all go on living for 52 weeks. But if you're John Harold, six weeks near the end of summer are worth far more. And my hope is <laughs> when that time comes, I drop dead in the cornfield. <laughs> I'll be happy. So they always say, uh, put manure in the cornfield and the corn will grow, so some spot in the field will do well.